this Monday morning in Vietnam, at my direction, after complete and thorough consultation and agreement with the government of South Vietnam, United States aircraft have resumed action in North Vietnam. The attacks slashed at North Vietnam with renewed fury. Raids against oil stores in Hanoi marked a fresh escalation. North Vietnam fought back. Mass fire shot down over 400 attacking planes. The heavy American bombers made devastating attacks against jungle targets. These planes have not yet been used against the cities of the North. As the year began, a quarter million Americans faced the communists in South Vietnam. At Bean Dean in January, there was Operation Masher. peasants suffered the ancient anguish of war, death by violence. Terrorism made the streets tense. In one incident, American MPs firing wildly wounded many civilians. of ground war also increased. Marines along the demilitarized zone fought a series of actions against North Vietnamese regulars. In May, the 9th Marines were pinned down in a church at An Hoa. A change in administrations means a change in the conduct of the war. President Nixon announces a Vietnamization of the conflict, with American troops being withdrawn as South Vietnam assumes the burden of ground combat. But as GIs come home, American airstrikes are intensified until they reach record levels for the war. Saturation bombing, the failure to end the war. The decision to send American troops into Cambodia against suspected communist supply depots result in protest marches and rallies that attract hundreds of thousands of demonstrators to Washington. At home, protests against the war persisted. Peace groups staged marches in many cities. A growing voice, however, called the demonstrations treachery. Seven young and earnest protesters burned draft cards on the steps of a Boston courthouse. A group of high school boys set upon them with fists. 